Hi everyone. Uh, today we'll say one more frequently asked question. Uh, what are all the bugs? So you found uh, during unit testing, or they can ask a question like, uh, what are the bugs usually you found whenever you perform some testing? Okay. So what are all the bugs? So we found uh, during testing, or I can ask like a unit, I can unit testing. Okay, so this is the frequently asked question. Can you explain few at least a uh, uh, few bugs what you faced in your current project or uh, during the testing or during the unit testing? So if you get such kind of questions, so at least you have to explain few bugs, because if you really worked on some projects, absolutely you can able to answer this question, okay? So to test whether the candidate is worked or not, so usually we ask such kind of questions. So can you explain few at least? Okay, so whenever you get this type of question, so you can ask, sorry, if they ask, right? So you just explain whatever you remember at least like, so uh, at least four or five bugs, if you explain all that will be fine. So before starting this, okay, so let's see, what are the different types of bugs we get it? So usually suppose if you create a mapping, okay, you're, you're running the workflow. So after completion of a workflow or before completion of that, so what kind of errors you will get it usually? So how to identify that? Okay, so usually we will have three kind of errors usually. So one is, Source level, you will have some errors sometimes. Sometimes you may have some target level. Sometimes you may have uh, errors in uh, transformation, what you created. Sometimes you may have connection level issues. So connection where we provide session level. So session level also sometimes so if you set some wrong properties, there is a possibility of uh, failing the session. Okay, so usually it's like a correction issue. Suppose you, so usually when, uh, suppose let's see, you create a mapping, so all the mapping is correct and it's validated correctly. So if you run it, it got failed due to connect, uh, connection issue, but you provide a connection for source and target. Suppose if you take a look at transformation, Absolutely, the transformation tab you have to provide it. Suppose you forget. So some such case, it, it get it get fails because even the mapping is valid. Okay, so we will see it in detail one by one. Okay, so source level. The source level, what type of uh, issues you will get it? The first thing is, suppose you have imported a table or file. Okay, so what issues you will get if it's a file? the path of the particular source file should be correct. So whatever the path you have provided, that should be accurate. That means, so if you are providing the source file path, okay, so in the particular path, if the source file is not available, absolutely, it will get failed because the file is not available. And also, the second reason here, the name, whatever you have provided, source file name, suppose let's see the source file name is abt.txt. Okay, suppose let's see you have provided abc some space dot txt. So even the name is correct, it will get failed because the particular source file name should be as it is, whatever you provide in the uh, session level. Okay, that is also possible. There is one possibility. So the path should be accurate and the file name also should be accurate. If it is not correct, absolutely it gets failed. Suppose it's a table. What kind of errors you may get it? So first should be connection. So if the connection is proper, it will it will try to extract the data or read the data. So while reading the data, what type of issues you may get it? The first thing is if it's a table. So what kind of issues you may get it? Connection is correct. Okay, so it started reading the data. The first thing is data types between the source and source qualifier should be safe. 
okay so you have in the source like some number you have created here some some other data type source having a different data type and source qualifier having a different data type absolutely it may get fail that's a one possibility and source and source qualifier okay columns not connected between the source and source qualifier the columns are not connected but it passes to the next level absolutely it may get failed i mean to say that source having 10 10 columns source qualifier also having 10 columns but you connected three from this you connect i mean three columns you connected to connected from source to source qualifier source qualifier to the next level you connect only two so absolutely there is a possibility of failure okay so 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 the whatever the columns you are connected between this so it should be matched so second thing is uh, source qualifier query suppose see now here you are selecting three columns from source quali uh, source qualifier query but you passing only two columns to the next level absolutely it will get failed so whatever the con uh, columns you are selecting that should match with the columns you are passing to the next level okay that's also a possibility one is like data types second one is whatever the uh, i mean columns you are connecting between source and source, source qualifier and third one is select class suppose if you mention okay that column should be passed to the next level if you're not passing it in between so absolutely get failed and uh, source level so what are other things we face usually is connections and this type of issues and uh, sometimes well, suppose if you write some override query so that should be executable in the database if it is not executable absolutely it won't execute in the source qualifier also it will get failed so these things you have to cross check whenever you have a source as a table file as said the path should be correct and the source file name also should be correct then only those particular uh, mapping try to read the data. Okay, so sometimes if you come to the target now, so what kind of issues again if you file, same thing. So file, if the target is a file, so absolutely path should be correct. But coming to the target name, whatever you give. So, so here you can see the difference between source and target. Source absolutely it, will, it should be same then only it will try to read the data but coming to target whatever you give as per the naming convention you given it will generate a file so <clears throat> only the path should should be proper if path is proper then you have to sorry it will be fine so it will execute it so target there is a possibility of rejections usually so source we read the data of let's see <clears throat> So source level, it is a let, let's assume it is like a string, but target it is a date, date and time. Okay, so let's see it's a string. You are trying to load to date and time. What will happen? Absolutely, it will get failed. So. Source is a string field, but target, if you see this date and time, if you're trying to load without converting it, absolutely, it will throw conversion error. So that is one type of error. Sometimes target having a not null column, but from source, the value coming as a null, so absolutely, data will be rejected due to that. I mean, sorry, the mapping that fails because it is trying to insert the null value into the target. And third thing is truncation. So what is my truncation? Source, it is like a 100 characters of data, but target you mistakenly define is like a 50 characters. So remaining 50 characters, what will happen? It will truncate the data. Suppose let's see you have like a data like this. Okay, but it will truncate the data as per the size you given. It will try to insert such kind of data. So truncation may happen or else. <clears throat> so usually, so whenever you have tried to insert this type, this type of data, so it just will truncate and it will load the data as per the size you given. Source is 100, 
target is 50 so 50 characters data it will load remaining it will truncate okay so so rejection when it will happen so as i said some data types not matching between source and target you are trying to insert some let's see that is the first case data types and second thing is so you trying to load some null data not into not null fields so absolutely it make it fail so those things you have to remember so transformation as everyone knows that i'll give one example here so usually so whenever we're uh, performing some unit testing so just i take an example as a lookup transformation okay so so because if you take any project so suppose you create 80 mappings in almost 70 mappings you will have a lookup transformation because this is the frequently used transformation so i can say that without this there will be no mapping so maybe there is a one one or two mappings it's like a one to one but Absolutely, if, it's, if, it's, if we have some business logic, absolutely we use a lookup approximation. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. If we look up approximation, so what kind of, uh, or else what type, uh, what are the possible uh, issues you may get it? So, or else what type of issues you get it? So, usually, if you take a lookup approximation, there is a condition number is equal to number. Okay, number is equal, suppose I give a department number is equal to department number so this is from source source department number is equal to lookup or you can say like sars target suppose you take a lookup on target table so this is the condition so what are the possible ways here the first thing is let's see if this condition not matches okay if condition not matches absolutely what will happen you will get a null value as a return so if you're trying to insert a null value again into some not null, not, I mean, not null columns, absolutely, it will get failed. This, this, is, this is a bug, right? Because source condition is not matching with the target condition. So absolutely, there's a possibility of uh, inserting a null value. So target is a not null field, so absolutely get a fail. Sometimes, so, if it is a file, let's assume, or if it is a table, so usually there is a possibility of getting a space or some, uh, what is that? Ah, I can say, you can take like a space. Suppose, let's see, you are taking some character feed. Suppose employee name is equal to employee name. So here, let's see here. So there is a space and as per the source. But target, same value available. Okay. Even though if the same value we have, it won't match because there is a space here, right hand side. Or else if we have a space left hand side, like this. Okay. So this type of con the, uh, con uh, issues also happens whenever you take a look up, I mean, transformations, whenever you perform some join conditions. Absolutely, you have to check the conditions properly. Sometimes these type of issues we face. Even the data is correct, it won't populate because there might be some space. So it is not considered as both are matching. So it may return null value. Then this also cause a bug. So similar way, if you take any other transformations, okay. So absolutely, transformation level issues also even get it. So that type of things you have to remember. So whenever you perform some testing. So if you explain at least few in the interviews, that will be fine. So this type of bugs we usually, so source, source, a source level, target level, transformation level. So this is like a session level, I can say, in, instead of saying connection level, session level. <laughs> session level, so this kind of issues, usually connection level issues. Suppose you forget to give connections. Suppose you given a wrong connection. Suppose see, there is a table called A, which is existing in some database, so, so, sorry, some connection called ABC underscore connection. Okay, instead of ABC connection, you have given some connection called this one, this other connection. So you're given this connection, but if you run this workflow, what will happen? <laughs> this particular connection, this particular table will not be available. So whenever you run, what it will do? This connection go and read the data from the database where you given the details. That particular DB is not, uh, this particular table is not there, absolutely to get failed. So one is your 
giving a wrong connection or you forget to give a connection. So which uh, which uh, time, I mean, which scenario we forget connections, you usually look up. Whenever you take a look up transformation, so it, this comes in the transformation tab. So usually we give for source and target, we forget to give for the lookup. Then if you try that, it will get failed. <laughs> so this type of issues, you may get it like session level. Session level, so always see, don't try to change the properties. You keep it as it is. Okay, so session level properties don't usually, I mean, so change it. So you keep it as it is, as per the requirement. Suppose there is a specific requirement, then change it. Else leave it as it is and try to load the data. Okay, so if anyone asks the interview, you can explain like, so we will have this kind of errors, usually like source level, target level, and transformation level and session level issues. So if you take one, one, suppose source, we have covered three. You can, if you explain one here, target like one and transformation level one and session level one. So at least four, then that will be fine. At least, I mean, minimum three. So you can say that this kind of issues are usually I face. So we, we try to fix it in the unit testing. So, so you can explain in the such way. So source level, target level, transformation level, and session level. So usually the issues happen. Other than that, I don't see any other issues <coughs> happens here. Suppose if you have a parameter file, yeah, that's again comes in the session level, right? So again, if you see that, again, workflow level only, <coughs> okay, I'll say this also. Okay, if you have a parameter file, uh, there's a possibility in workflow level also. Workflow level. Okay. So when it will comes to the workflow level, session level, we have seen that. So when it comes to the workflow level, suppose you have a parameter file. Okay. You forget to define the parameter file as a workflow level. So absolutely, it will get failed. So you can see this also one issue. So totally, uh, four types we have seen. Source level, target level, transformation level, session level. So this also you can say workflow level also. Sometimes we might find, we might face some issues. So I have a parameter file. So I have defined some parameters, but I forgot to declare the uh, parameter file path in the workflow level. So absolutely, it may get failed. So that's also one error. Okay, suppose see, so you, you create some parameter you created a some parameter, but you forgot to define in the parameter file. Absolutely, it won't get any value. Absolutely, it will load null value. Sorry, if you're not define it, it will get failed. Suppose, let's see, I have created uh, one parameter called, uh, what is that? Uh, double dollar of date. So I use it in the mapping, but this particular parameter, I forgot to declare in the parameter file. So absolutely, it will get failed. Suppose, <clears throat> I declared this one, but I have, sorry, I declared this uh, parameter in the parameter file, but I forgot to assign a value to that. So, absolutely will take an null value, it will it'll get failed, oh, sorry, it will go out to get failed. So, <coughs> if you are trying to load, sorry, if you are trying to load this null value from this parameter file to a target, suppose, let's assume it's a not null field, it will get failed. So, you can say like this, so I have faced a source level, target level, transformation level, so session level, workflow level issues. So you can at least, you take one, one example. So you can next suppose here one example, here one. So like, now we covered five, right? So five, you can explain at least here. So you can say this is uh, a hierarchy, so that's also fine. So source level, target level, transformation level, session level, workflow level. So each tab you can explain one, one. So now, at, uh, we already called it five. That's enough. So I said at least three. So worst case, you can explain three. Suppose you forget three, you explain this three. If you remember, just explain each tab one one. So this type of uh, issues usually we get it. So during the unit testing. So the question may come like this. One is I said, what are the issues you face during the testing or during the unit testing? Uh, can you explain few bugs uh, you face in your current project? So that also they can ask. This also frequently they're asking the I mean question. So you should be more I mean uh, aware of this one. So if whenever they ask, right? So at least explain few bugs. So 
that will be fine. So I, I hope it is clear for everyone. So we'll see in the next session with a different topic. Thanks everyone.